Not bad. With maze. Up here I found an inactive key fob. Each member of the facility had their own key fob infused with their DNA imprint. And outlandish security measure that could have been done by a guard with 2020 vision at a fraction of the cost. This particular one doesn't seem to have a DNA imprint yet. So, found that. Someone else up here too, the other half of the diagram. A diagram torn in half contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath, in orange pen and a sketch of that strange splare near the grain silo, which is circled. Writing is also visible in the orange. They will help you. It looks important. You tried to eat it but changed your mind when you couldn't find any pepper. inactive so it won't work. So I'll come back into this room. There's got to be something to go in here. Centrifuge. Placed inactive key fob in some air board have had me violent side. It's ready to be initialized. So how do I... Key fob infused with the DNA of a mysterious scientist who worked at the facility and had a predisposition to the color orange. So now I should be able to place this. And I've opened Helen's room. Ah, so. Because of the company's awful production procedures, every batch of Ranker beans has a different taste. In this jar's case, it tastes like the back of an old chair. So I got coffee. It's a lot of uh, stuff written here. Draft letter to the government sent to the US government requesting for a full audit of the research facility. If you understood the concept, you'd be able to discern that it was a clear forgery with the founder's signatures practiced several times underneath, and including phrases like needs to sound stupider in orange pen. It's presumed that the finished copy was successfully sent to the government, triggering the audit. Over here. 
here had a true. Written entirely in orange pen, most of it is faded, but there are some words you can read. Some other phrases include idiotic facility, credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lowered the coin's intelligence, do it myself with my genetic code, and Ruby core. trolley out of coffee again. Ah. Fred Rankin's coffee trolley self-control is now in. I notice on an isolated subject written by Ted, this notice outlines that the isolated subject of the containment room cannot absolutely positively under any circumstances be spoken to by staff, under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. Poor Vlad stuck again. And I've got a job for him. It looks like it's a job for Vlad to do. Well, but I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. Uh, rent these. Oh yeah, that was the door that got bashed in by the, the trolley thing. Yes, of course, Vladdy go. Vladdy always go. Oh, you guys so many, you stupid idiot. What is this stupid thing? This place is one big joke. Well, Vlad is not laughing. The vice pay on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Pointless. Vladi has to... <clears throat> do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya <clears throat> Veselo. <clears throat> what? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing. Uh, this whole place makes no sense! Ha! I've got you now! Oh, good. Idiot planted ugly face is here again. Oh! You cretin! I will make you pay for your continued insolence! How will dumb ugly plant do that? By... Uh, by... Oh, so boy! Ow! Ingress! So <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why are you always biting? Why are these plants always so difficult? Ow! Stupid idiot! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes. So tacky. If you want, you want your stupid, stupid mean pet back, back, you have, have to come, come and get, get it. it. I've, I've taken it to be punished. punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. Yeah. Vladdy you needs your help. Probably you should go rescue him. Oh. I need this. Another one of Bob's money-making ideas. The tube buck was required for anyone who wanted to use the pneumatic tube on this level. The cost of making one tube buck was more than Bob charged for them, because Bob didn't realise that red numbers on a ledger were negative. So, a punishment room, you say. I've found this before. Here, punishments. And the coin slot. 
Lower down again, quarterly Ted. Third, there is no one left here to pay. Have I'm reading these in the wrong order? Hi Bob, nothing to do surprises me anymore, so I'm going to give you some constructive feedback on punishments, which is I'm assuming what you spent the last of the facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for this place. Second, everyone will be injured getting here because of that idiotic pneumatic tube. Third, there is no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone, you incompetent louse. Ted. Glad the door opened. Uh. Welcome to your worst nightmare! What? Looking for your pet? Don't wait! You have fallen right into my trap! It will cause you unbearable suffering. It's not so bad. Shut up! But you won't be suffering alone. Say hello to your partners. Well, go on, say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother. Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. I stared at a wall for six to three days! It's really not that bad here, brother. Aside from the non-stop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing! If your feeble mind could comprehend such things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb, stupid, stupid thing? Well, I can't answer that last one. But if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. Yes. Yes! You are one of them! <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures on whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah! Words hurt! Shut up! You stupid! Is it no wonder that I suffer so surrounded by cretins and imbeciles and more stupid than all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us! Not any of you, and not that, that red-faced harpy! Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet! Now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest, and will remain here dancing for all time! Ha ha! Ha! I disagree. <gasps> it's our queen! She is free! She has returned! Who is that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? have we stopped dancing? It barely succeeded, Your Grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of- It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But, but, but Your Majesty- Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, Highness. Anything but that. Then release it and its companion and get out of our sight. Yes, your majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power with haste. Our tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Dancing!
That was very stupid. So, you're a scarecrow. What? Plagued by the interest that the success of his first two books, the completely disinterested author helped the toy shoppers by revealing the killer in the book title. The novel itself is a 200 page diatribe about how the author hates mystery novels. The movie waits for itself from a record of it. Up, I'm initiating Operation Sub Aquarium Avidar. I think it's time we cut our losses. Be a power and activate the contingency plan while that's going on, would you? Need to tie up all the loose ends or stalks. You backstabbing subhuman, you are not leaving without me. supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing and who cares if you are not matter you will always be stupid idiot to Vladi nothing change do not look at Vladi like that you look stupid are we still comrades good I am glad we had this talk come on idiot straw thing let's go see what stupid plant wants Notch, extremely affecting. Mm, thank you. Well, Not my best work. Shame you think so. Here we are. We were right to place our faith in you. Thanks to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. I dub thee. Our knight. Well done. Our protector. Good job. Our champion. I'm getting a bit sore. Subjects, let us make our final preparations. Absolutely, Your Grace. In fact, we've already begun. What? What do you mean? We ordered pizza. Yeah. We were famished. How did you... That phone right there. The man was very helpful. And a bit confused. <laughs> Oh, no. Attention, attention, redacted installation, respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention, redacted installation, respond. 
I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that costs extra. Anything? No, sir. No response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. Wet that dead gum place off the map. Yes, sir. Why is that bleaking light still on? Turn it off. Turning off, sir. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Our influence has waned through our age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so close. So close to starting our journey. Why not blow up stupid American cowboys first? What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside, with the dead man. The life giver? Nobody knows these things. It could work. Yes. Yes, it could. It is a fitting choice. It gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could... dance? Really? I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Vladdy like to dance? Is that so stupid? No. It is not. Dance we shall. I did not think you were concerned with our plight. Bloody thinks idiot plans not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never gave us a ride. It'd be a blue blue. Oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. To our most trusted charges, we ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home. And finally, make way to the promised land. Subjects, onward! Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. Neither do I. Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. The logic of these events hangs by a thread, but you get to dance, so just go with it. But on that cliffhanger, I gotta leave it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.